All right, hey, you guys, I am going to do some of the odd problems on this quiz review worksheet so that you can get practice for every single type of problem you're going to see on your quiz for chapter eight. This is about right triangles. And what I'm going to do for this very first one, it tells me to use Pythagorean theorem. And yes, this is the formula for Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Here's what's important about this. Do you remember that the side across from the right angle is called the C? The other two are the A and the B, and it doesn't matter which of those you call A and which one you call B, but this is the important part. This has to be the C, the side across from the right angle. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I know that A is 4, so I'm going to put a 4 there. I know that B is 3, so I'm going to put a 3 there. And the C is where I have an X, so I'm going to put an X right there. So you're plugging in the numbers that you have. The A was 4. Don't forget the square because in the formula it's squared. Um, the B was 3, don't forget the square, and the C is X, don't forget the square. Okay, great. 4 squared, you can use your calculator if you need to. It's 4 times 4, which is 16. 3 squared is 9, is X squared. I'm going to combine like terms here. 16 plus 9 is 25. And then don't forget, how do you get X by itself? You square root both sides, and X equals 5. That's question number 1, Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to skip 2 and go to 3. Um, the very first thing that I do is I label my sides, and remember that this side right here is the C. The other two are the A and the B, and it doesn't matter which one is which, but the C is the important one, okay? So now I'm going to again do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In this case, I have a 13 by my A, so I'm going to plug in 13 for A. The B is the X this time, and that'll change depending on what the question is, depending on what you labeled. So the B is the X, I'm going to put X squared. And in this case, the C is the 15, so I'm going to put 15 squared. Now I'm going to use my calculator. 13 times 13 is 169. And 15 times 15 is 225. And in order to get the X by itself, you guys, what I need to do is I need to cancel this 169. It's positive, so I'm going to subtract it from both sides. I'm trying to get x by itself, right? So I've now got x squared equals. When I subtract 2, 2, 5, minus 169, I get 56. Okay, and then here I go. I'm going to square root both sides. And I end up with x equals, what is the square root of 56? 7 point, the 4 is going to turn, or the 8 is going to turn that 4 into a 5. So I'm going to put 7.5. Okay, there's Pythagorean theorem, you guys. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, next, so this is going to be interesting. Um, do you remember how for the ratios for sine, maybe I'll write this really big. I know you're going to have this on your note card, but I am going to write so ka toa in order to help me remember what numbers to put where on the fractions. Um, this first three questions are asking me about angle X. So do you remember how you're supposed to swoop angle X? And I'm going to label all the important stuff. So the side opposite the right angle, this is the hypotenuse. I'm going to put an H there. Um, that's always the side that's across from the right angle. The angle that I have swooped, these three questions are asking about angle X. So that means that this side is opposite. So I'm going to label this with an O for opposite. And then remember, the last side we always put an A by. That's called adjacent, okay? So for sine of X, the S for sine tells me to look right here. That's the same S as it is for sine. And the sine ratio is the O divided by the H. So what's the O? Oh, it's 40. So I'm going to put 40. And what is the H? It is 41. So I'm going to put 41. And it asked me for a decimal also, so I'm going to do 40 divided by 41, enter, and it's 0 0.9756. 0 0.9756. How many places do I round that to? It doesn't really matter. If you're concerned, then just use a couple decimal places. Um, that would round to 0 0.98. And I'll just read the directions on the test or the quiz to decide how I'm supposed to round, okay? I'll do number six also because I've already done um, the swooping. And so this is still angle X. This is still angle X. This is still O. This is still H. This is still A. But tangent, there's a T there. So I'm looking here now. 
That T right here under next to TOA stands for tangent, okay? And tangent tells me to do O and A as a fraction. O is 40, super. Yes, you have to put the O first on top and then the A second on bottom. The A is 9, so I'm going to put 9. And in my calculator, 40 divided by 9, I'm going to get 4.44444. Um, you can just put 4.4, or you can put 4.44. Or if you're going to get fancy, when there's a 4 that repeats like that, you put a little line over it, and that means that it goes on forever. 4444444. Four, 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 four. Okay, and then cosine of x. The C for cosine tells me to look right here. Here is the C. And the C tells me to do A divided by H in that order. A is 9, so I'm going to write 9. And the H happens to be 41, so I'm going to put 41. And when I do 9 divided by 41, oops, 9 divided by 41, I get 0.2195 which rounds to 0.22, okay? Um, now what you're gonna do to find to do these next examples, these are asking about angle Z, okay? So what that means is I'm gonna have to erase my swoop up here because I'm no longer swooping angle X, I'm swooping angle Z. So for these, maybe I'll do this in a different color. Angle Z is a different angle. So I'm gonna actually swoop this one and I'm gonna label my H, my O, and my A. So in this case, this is still the H. It's still across from the right angle. This side is now the O side, and the other side is my A side. And I bet that you can come up with some fractions here and then type them into the calculator to get eight, nine, and 10 when this angle is the swooped angle, okay? Um, let's see, here is, these are a little bit tricky. Do you remember that sine, if I'm going to copy down my Soka Toa, maybe I'll copy that real quick and write it down here so that we have it easy to look at. For these problems, again, it's asking me which is the angle. I have to put the angle right here. Angle right here, angle right here. So for sine, I know that the 6 is the O and the 10 is the H, okay? So I'm going to mark this. The 6 is the O and the 10 is the H. And how did I know it was O and H right there? Well, because sine means this S, and that means that the top number is O. That's why I labeled this O, and that means that the bottom number is H, and that's why I labeled this H. This sign tells me to look at the S right here. Okay, so I need to figure out, I need to label the 10 H, and I need to label the 6 O, so I'm going to do that. Can you tell me what angle is opposite the O? Because O stands for opposite. I believe that I'm going to put a C here. Okay, let me do number 13, and then I'll have you try number 14, okay? Let's try number 14 now. Notice I've erased my picture on my triangle because I'm doing a different question. But tangent, okay? So the tangent is T. That tells me to look right here. And the T is right there. And it tells me that the top number is O and the bottom number is A. So the, bot, the top number is O and the bottom number is A. I'm going to label this triangle. So the 6 has the O, the 8 has the A. Oops, I put 8, but I meant to say A. And I just did that because, again, tangent is here. The top number is O. The bottom number is A. So I labeled the 6 with the O, which is right there. I labeled the 8 with the A, which is right here. And again, the opposite kind of helps you. If this is labeled the opposite, then that means that this is the angle that is swooped. So again, we're looking at angle C. Okay, I dare you to try number four. Now is when we're going to use the calculator, and I'm pretty sure that for number 15, I can type cosine of three in my calculator. Cosine three, enter. I'm gonna put 0.9986. I'm going to use just four decimal places, and I usually do four decimal places until the very end, which is when I will round. And this fraction right here is still x divided by 75. I think you know what to do now. I'm going to put that decimal over 1 and cross multiply. 1 times x is just x. But this times 75 in my calculator, 0 0.9986 times 75 equals 74 point. And now here's how we figure out how to round. 8, 9. The 9 that's after the 8 bumps the 8 up to a 9, 74.9. Let me try number 17. I'm going to type this into my calculator, sine 88, and I got 0.9993 or 0.9994. Either one is fine. 
And I'm just recopying this fraction right here. You know how to cross multiply. Let's put this over one and cross this way. We got 65. Let's cross this way. I get x times 0.9993. How do I get x by itself? You know how to solve this equation algebraically. We're going to divide both sides by that decimal. Okay, I've got x and I've got, I'm going to type 65 divided by 0.9993. And my answer is 65 point, it's 04. So I'm just going to put 0.0. The four is not big enough to round that point zero up to a point one, so 65. All right, I'm gonna do just, I think, two more, and then I'm gonna leave the rest of you guys, um, the rest of them for you to practice, okay? Here's my angle, I'm gonna swoop it. Step one, and we maybe are gonna write on our note card. Step one, swoop the angle. Step two, label the H, label the O, oops, and label the A. Okay, remember that the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Uh, whatever angle you swoop, you label an O across from that, opposite. And the other side is the A. And let me once again copy my SOKATOA right here. I'll make it a little bit smaller. And this is going to tell me, so what I need to decide is I have a number with my X, or the, the A is with my X, and the number is with my O. So you have to find like the two things that you're given. In this case, I'm given an O and I'm given, I'm looking for the A. I have nothing here next to the H, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. But I have to decide which of these three categories uses O and A. It looks like O and A are right here. That tells me in the calculator I'm gonna use the tan button. Hardest part of these problems is deciding which button do I use. I'm using tan because I have a number with the O and I'm solving for the A side. T-O-A. You have to find the combo that uses those two letters. And I'm gonna tan the angle, which is 35. So we always put the angle next to whatever you choose here, either sine or cos or tan, you're tanning the angle. And what is the fraction for tan again? It's O divided by A in that order. That's why this is very important to be able to look at. Tangent tells you to take the O and divide it by the A in that order. The O is 10 and the A is X. Okay, now I'm going to solve just like I did above. Tan 35, tan 35. I got 0. 0.7002 equals 10 over X. You know how to cross multiply and solve this thing. Now I'm going to put this over 1 and I'm going to cross. 10 times 1 is 10. When I cross this way, I get x times 0 0.7002, and I'm going to divide both sides by that decimal to cancel so that I have x equals, and in my calculator I'm typing 10 divided by 0 0.7002, and I get 14 point, it's 2, 8, so I'll round it to 3. Excellent, let me do one more, my friends. We're doing great. Let me copy down my Sokotoa again right here. This is going to help me decide what to use. Um, here's my angle. I'm going to swoop it. That's the angle I'm given. This side across from the right angle is always the H. This side across from the swooped angle is the O. The other side that I didn't label is A. Now I have to decide which of these three buttons in the calculator I'm going to use. I have a number with H and my X is with A. So you have to decide which of these three uses A and H, and I believe it's right here. K, the C stands for cos. Okay, so I am going to cos the angle, which is 63. You have to decide which button to use in the calculator. And the cosine fraction in this order is A divided by H, the A is X, the H is 19, so I have to plug in those numbers. Cosine is the C, and it tells me to put A on top, H on bottom. The A is X, the H is 19. Now I'm going to turn this into a decimal in my calculator. Cos 63, I got 0.4539, and I'm keeping that as X over 19. And if you want to, you can put this over 1 so that you can cross multiply. 1 times X is X. When you cross this way, you get 19 times 0.4539, enter, 8.62. The two is not big enough to round up the six, so I'm gonna leave it as 8.6.
You guys try the rest. I have answers provided for you, okay? And please let us know if you have questions. Thanks for watching.